everybody hey guys we're on the road again we're actually stopped at a rest area for a minute yeah the road noise was so loud we're trying to make a video we said let's just stop and do it so. yeah so now we got trucks pulling in and out so there's noise too right. but anyway we are on the road again just for, like willie nelson just like willie nelson yeah Only we're going does, to michigan how does he say it on the road again pretty close <laughs> Anyway, we are going to Holland, Michigan for the annual Tula Festival, and uh, I'm excited to go there. I haven't been there before, and I've, I've wanted to go and see all the beautiful tulips. Hopefully, there will be enough tulips, um, you know, with all the We'll, we'll find out. It's, it's been it's, cold. Yeah. It's, you know, the spring weather. Uh, yeah. Anyway, I didn't, my tulips didn't come up this year, but anyway. This um, is our second trip of the season, so... Those of you who are streaming and binging, <laughs> binge watching, yeah. where this is season three, episode two. Yeah, all the all the bingers of uh, rolling with the stones yeah. camping. Yes, <laughs> season, season. So three. we're going to a harvest host tonight. Yes, we're not even though it's about seven hours. I think we decided to break it up because four hours is kind of our max. You know that we like to drive in any day. We've got nothing but time yeah so, so we're, we're gonna try our first harvest host ever tonight monday today's monday right yeah. and then uh, go the rest of the way to the park uh, in the morning yeah and uh, a different harvest house on the way home we're taking yep. a different route home so we'll let you know yeah. how that goes we're boondocking i guess when you harvest yeah. host that's yeah. our first time without any power or or water or anything yeah so we did uh, put 10 gallons of water in our uh, in our fresh water tank first time we've driven with water in the tank You know, I know there's pros and cons uh, After our harvest host tonight, then we still got another four hours three three hours or so four hours. Well, well, I don't know You know these these GPS is one of them will tell you it's two hours the next one will tell you it's three and a half So we're not yeah. sure how, how long it'll take. Uh, it doesn't matter. Yeah, it doesn't we'll matter. just do it So it's kind of gloomy uh, There's no Sun so we're uh, I was well, expecting some rain. We do tonight. have a 200 watt solar panels. Yeah, um, you have to have hoping. solar to do that. I know, I know, and that <laughs> may, we may not have that tonight. So That's we'll all right. See. We're hooked up to our truck. Yeah, yeah we'll, we'll make it work. 12 volt. We'll make it uh, work. Everybody, fridge. I mean, lots of people boondock. It's just the first time for us, so we're a little nervous about it. But yeah. should be fun. Should be fun. So we'll report okay. back once we go. And well, you want to tell them about our Michigan pass? Oh yeah, you Oops, know anyone who who non-residents of Michigan have to pay a fee just to go into a state park but they do offer an annual pass so we bought that it's $39 for the year which is kind of high but still we um, plan hmm. to get our money's worth because that's three days worth you know well, we're we, gonna be three four days one yeah. another camp yeah. site another campground another four nights four right. days so anyway we booked um, we booked several trips to Michigan a few anyway different yeah. state parks so we're going to get our money's worth out of we that will. this year. We got our fishing gear. We're going to go fishing at some nice little lake here. here yep. Near a lake. There's a lake. In, well, you got Lake Michigan, but we're not going to fish in Lake Michigan. Yeah. We're, there's a lake in in the Holland State Park campground. So. Yeah, no kayaks today. Let's got our e-bikes. There's lots of bike trails e around there. Should yeah. be fun. We got Hannah with us. Yep. She's, She's in there ready panting. to go camping. She wants us to get on the road. Yeah, I, I want to get on the road. All right, too. we'll catch you we'll later. We'll see you later. Bye. Incredible, isn't that? Isn't that beautiful? So, we are up there staying here at this first harvest host we've ever been to. Actually, we're going to move the camper and uh, position it into a, a, a nicer view of the river behind us and I'm, I'm gonna do some fishing I really am this is the house that we were in here's a little river down here I don't know what that river is my first cast Big fish. 
fish. This is my second cast, my first cast. I caught like a crappie or bluegill. That was like your first cast. Okay, this is the uh, Riverside Retreat. Certainly is Riverside. This is where our camper is looking right out to the river, which is going to be nice to wake up to tomorrow. And over here, of course, always, whenever he can, Joe's out fishing. He told me he was hungry, but he uh, apparently isn't too hungry that uh, it can wait until he's done fishing. I didn't notice this before, but they have a little waterfall that goes into this pond. That's pretty. And you know, it's only May, early May, so a lot of these trees haven't blossomed yet. I would love to see this place when it's in full bloom. I'll bet you it's gorgeous. Nice. Great relaxing place to come and spend the night on the road. Thanks to our friend Sean Boyer, uh, boondocking with the Boyers, who got the link and the information from the Real Weekend Warriors, Vic and Karen. So we appreciate it. I think it looks good, and uh, we're happy to have that. Thanks, guys. Here we are. We're at Holland State Park in Michigan. And uh, little tight quarters here. There's nobody out on the other side, but uh, several people all around. And uh, beautiful day. So we're enjoying it here. So Mary's got something here she's been researching about the Tulip Festival yeah. we're going to tomorrow. Yeah, we're going to see what's going on here. There's a whole schedule of events. Good. We're, we're going to plan get it our day. Figured out. Yeah. And it'll be fun. Let's go see what this is. Looks like Big the main, fountain. Yeah, the main fountain. Yeah, it's on Park. Oh, what a beautiful place. I can't, I can't color. believe all these tulips. Good grief, look at this. Oh my goodness, just That's stop and really look dark at these. Let me zoom in yeah. on the colors. Hang on, okay. Absolutely beautiful. I can honestly say I've never seen so many tulips in my life. <laughs> Unbelievable. Can't go believe it, man. All right. Yeah, they're all different colors here. Just beautiful. Oh, look at the dark ones. Tiptoe through this. Yeah, you go ahead and tiptoe. There's the fountain here. in the tulips. We are, and up there, if you pan up a little bit, or, yeah, there's a fountain that we're standing in front of, and it's surrounded by all these tulips. It's beautiful. Journey. We just started this yeah. journey. All right, we'll pick it up. How pretty this is. I think my favorite are these. What, the orange?
Can I go fishing in there? Well, you run back to the truck and get it. Oh, there are some hey, goldfish. Is that koi? Carp. Koi prawns? All right, we're here to find out who this guy is. Okay, the memory and the Albertus vision. Albertus Van. Real. Founder of the city of Holland and Hope College. I've heard of Hope College. So. Brought a group of fellow immigrants to the Netherlands. From the Netherlands. From the Netherlands to this area in February of 1847. And this town. Oh, yeah. So this is the Before founder of Holland. Cool. Okay. Yellow and red. They call that windmill red. I really? Yeah. I don't know what they do. All, the, all these tulips. What are you it's doing like wrong? <laughs> I have Where's deer. Where's the tulips? I have the deer coming to our oh, house. Oh, blaming it on the deer. Yeah, and the rabbits. Yeah. Those are beautiful. Yeah, they are. Okay. I like the yellow. Let's see. We're on another corner here. Let's see what we have here. Backup band. <laughs> Where's your guitar? <laughs> Downtown Holland. It's a very nice, quaint little town. You see all the shops. Look at all these cool shoes. With the windmills. Or I guess that's a Dutch. Oh, that says Holland. I love these. Souvenir windmill. Uh huh. We're gonna go see a windmill later. Yeah. There's some up there in the corner. Yeah. Great little store. And we're all done. Yeah. I think I want this pair. <laughs> a little magnet? Yeah. yeah. That's a little souvenir. Tulip time. Neil Diamond wrote yeah? a song. How did it go? Sing it with me, Paul. No, I can't. It's I have one tulip part. time. <laughs> ba, ba, ba. And then he oh. says, the tulips <laughs> never look so good. So, so good. good. So good. So good. <laughs> so good. That's so right. what? Yeah. What are you guys? Are you just tour? We're um, tour guys. We're tour, tour guys. guys. Okay. Are you walking yeah. tours. Walking and bus tours. Yeah. Oh, Walking wow. Tours Can you get a little closer so I get sure you all in here? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so what's your favorite... <laughs> <laughs> what's your favorite part of the Tula Festival? Saturday when it's done. <laughs> <laughs> now, you say I think no. all the community involvement is great to have everybody outside enjoying the tulips, yeah. the family. Street awesome. scrubbers are fun with your grandkids. Yep. And they actually scrub the streets. Yes, yeah. they do. That's so cool. Yeah. And who plants all these tulips? The city park department does. Okay. And yeah. if you have them at your home, like I probably planted 400 at my own home. Oh my gosh. So a lot of people will do their yeah. own. Yeah. Yeah. That's great. Well, this yeah. is our first time here. We're from Ohio. And, great. Oh, and we're camping over at Holland State Park. Oh, you just are. For this. Very nice. Yeah. So it's yeah. very have nice. You seen your English is pretty good from being from Ohio. So that's yeah. good. <laughs> <laughs> I, I hey, hey, wait. I was born in Michigan. Oh, okay. All right. That's why. That explains it. I have yeah. an experience. Yeah. What part yeah. of Michigan? I was born in Flint, and I lived there when Flint was a great place to live. Yeah, all right. <laughs> it will and be. I think yeah. it's coming it back. Coming it's coming back. back. It's coming back. That's right. Now, let me get your feet here. Yeah. Okay. You might want to do a walking tour. Oh, so we go through a lot of history. Are they comfortable? Yes. No. <laughs> I don't mind. My grandchildren no. have them. They run around. You okay. could have two, yeah. three, four, five, six pairs of socks to keep them That's up. Awesome. Yeah, what I great. tell people is it's like walking on memory foam yeah. if you have a lot of sad and tragic memories. <laughs> <laughs> That's perfect. Okay, what's your name real quick? Mark. Mark. Karen. Karen. Paul. Well, thank you so Happy much for your time. time. Absolutely. Yeah. All right, for see ya. Bye-bye. <laughs> All right, let's pan this thing around here. So the see sign over the way over there says window on the waterfront. Uh -huh. So I guess that's yeah. what it's the waterfront is behind us. Yeah, neat little road. Yeah. Yeah. Very nice. Oh, look, big, but there's more over there. Yeah, I know. Wow, it's all over. over the place. Like there's tulips everywhere. This is part of Lake Makatawa. This is where we're 
camping on this lake. And straight ahead. Look the window. The wind? Yeah. There's something about those coral colored tulips that I just love. Don't you? I think they're my favorite. I gotta go get a close up of the coral ones. I gotta get this. That's just gorgeous. It's just beautiful. This is one of my prettiest, this is one of the prettiest displays right here. Pink, yellow, the multicolored. I hear the train are coming, coming round the bend. Come here hungry. Any luck? We're lucky just to be here. This is Lake Makatawa. Or some say Mekatawa. And this is just a little beach that is across from the campground entrance. We decided to stop for the night at another harvest host, break up our trip. And we are all by ourselves. They closed at six o'clock. There's nobody here tonight. That's where all the Grapevines are being grown. 2018, this was voted the best winery in the state of Indiana. Uh, they have a lot of wine. I'm not a connoisseur of wine, so I can't tell you all about that part of it, but they have a nice indoor restaurant, bar, wine tasting, not lots of a, and then a nice patio. All by our lonely here. So we're gonna come out and watch the sunset on that side and then tomorrow morning when we cut up we'll see the sunrise over here. Here's another perspective of how big this place is and where we are in relation. This is from the back of the field and that's where we are. And right over here we're about to experience what I hope will be a nice sunset. Uh, getting ready for the sunrise in the morning. Wait, who's this? Hello, I'm Johnny Cash. <laughs> train a coming, coming round the bend. I ain't seen the sunshine since I don't know when. I'm stuck in Folsom prison. Time keeps dragging on. That train, it keeps on rolling down to San Antonio. When I was just a baby, my mama told me, son, Always be a good boy, don't ever play with guns. But I shot a man in Reno just to watch him die. When I hear that whistle blowing, I hang my head and cry. rich folks in that fancy dining car that they're drinking coffee smoking big cigars well I knew I had it coming I know I can't be free but those people keep them moving and that's what's torturing me Here's our two suns setting. Maybe that's where Tucson got its name. Tucson? Tucson, Arizona? Yeah. 
Ah, that's pretty. Ah, oh, nice. Horizon. Hey. Hey, Hana. Watching the sunset. Hey. Okay, we are home from our trip to the Tula Festival. Yeah, we had a good time. We did. A good trip. The harvest hosts were really, were. really good for our, for our first time. Mm -hmm. Went to two of them, one going there and one going back. Yeah, it was nice. Um, I highly recommend that, you know, instead of stopping at a Cabela's or wherever, Walmart. Mm -hmm. It was really nice. Uh, we had planned to do our recap at the last harvest host, figuring we had plenty of time to kill and then... Yeah. We forgot, basically. <laughs> well, we got there, what, it was in the afternoon, like yeah. 3 o'clock or something. Just hung out. And nobody was there. Yeah. We, we had the whole thing to ourselves, which was very nice. But, you know, we, we figured, oh, we got plenty of time. We'll do a recap. And then we thought, well, we have to get up real early to beat the traffic on a Friday. Well, we wanted to see the sunrise. Yeah, I was saying, watch the sunrise. Well, so what happened? Well, we slept in. <laughs> we slept in? We never sleep in. I know. It was like oh, 7 o'clock. Oh, it was so almost after 7. The sun yeah. had been up for over an hour. So sure. we just rushed to secure and, everything and, yeah. and take off. Yeah. So. But the uh, Tulip Festival was definitely worth going to. We really enjoyed that. Uh, really I would have nice. actually liked an extra day. I didn't realize that some of the stuff happens on the Thursday of the week. Like they have this parade and different things. Yeah. But but that's okay. We we saw a good deal. We saw a lot of tulips. Yeah, yeah I know why they call it a tulip festival. Yeah. I learned something interesting um, that oh, pray tell. my friend, I happened to have a friend from here that was at the tulip festival also, and we connected on by phone anyway. We didn't get to see each other, but she told me that, her, this is Deb, she told me that she talked to someone and said, they they actually plant five million tulips there every year. And she said, how do they fit them all in? There's already so many. And, yeah. and learned that they actually um, say that it's better to pull the, your tulips up every year and plant new ones because they bloom better. And um, so they have an annual, I actually have the brochure, it's an annual tulip dig where you, there's various locations around Holland where you can come and Hit, pull up whatever Dig tulips up you want and take the bulbs, bulbs home. They're all free, uh, which is really what cool. So it's, I don't know when we're going to post this, but this it's on May 20th, next Saturday, May 20th. Well, let's go back and do that. <laughs> we get a shovel with us. But I think that's pretty cool. They have, and I was yes. reading, they have these huge machines that, that poke the holes uh -huh. uh, in, like in when they have yeah. rows of tulips. Yeah, it's a pretty, pretty cool sure, place. Yeah. It was nice. We enjoyed it. A lot. Was, I think we saw a million at least. Yep. That's amazing. So I want to talk to talk to you about the Michigan roads. <laughs> uh, they are the worst. They yeah. are just terrible. They're working on them. I mean, for miles and miles, the whole state practically. Yeah. I thought I had a flat tire. I said, well, we got to pull over, right? <laughs> We're bouncing all around the place, and yeah. oh, this is We right. almost pulled over, and then the road changed. Yeah, and then we went into, <laughs> got into Ohio, and yeah. all of a sudden, hey, yeah. I guess the flat fixed itself. It did, it did. But that, that, was, uh, that was bad. Yeah, and we discovered that Love's, um, we, love, we love Love's. It's a nice place to stop with yeah. the restrooms, and they have, the, uh, uh, on their app now, you can get um, 10 cents off a gallon if you show them, if you uh, scan the app. Um, and then also a... a oh, their food purchases too. Right, well, it's um, coffee. every fifth cup of coffee is free or something like yeah. that. I don't know how long they've had that. I know they had something for the uh, diesel gas, but now it's for anyone. And of so. course, being a truck stop, somewhat, uh, we had no trouble, you know, pulling in yeah. and getting gas. You uh, know, with, of course, almost took a pump out anyway. But, <laughs> uh, I'm still, yeah. still learning. So it was good. So you heard that train coming, huh? I heard the train coming, <laughs> and you know uh, I remembered that uh, Mike Confer of uh, Camping with the Confers uh, suggested um, that Johnny maybe Cash. we do a Johnny yeah. Cash song. So Thought it was perfect. It. Thanks, perfect Mike. timing. <laughs> yeah, that was anyway, fun. Thank you, Mike. And so we did get a nice bottle of wine from the Heartland Winery yeah. when you 
many of you probably Fruit know this, but when you, when you go to a Harvest Host location, it's free to boondock there. You have to be self-contained, have water in your, uh, you, know, you can't use their restrooms or anything. And then they kind of encourage you to buy something or spend, uh, give a donation of, you know, $20 or so. And so yeah. um, we had a little bite to eat and bought a bottle of wine that we're going to use in our fondue. Well, yeah, it's a white, that's a light yeah, wine. So we're, yeah. we yeah, like fondue. Super fun. I like Merlot too. They didn't have any, but. And then, the, hold on a second, Joe. Okay. I want to Go show ahead. them that I also did get my, uh, my magnet of the, the little shoes. So, Logs. yep, yep. So that was fun. I, re I really enjoyed those, those three, um, uh, Oops, tour guides, oh. uh, that helped us out. Oh, they, yeah, they yeah. did a great job. They were fun. Yeah, they were funny. fun. Yeah. And it was wonderful. So I encourage anyone to go to the Holland, uh, Tulip Festival, Festival in the first full week of May. There's both weekends, but the, as the days progress, there's more events happening. There's yeah, and on of... your way, stop at that uh, retreat, Riverside Retreat. Yeah, that was awesome. Fabulous. That Good fishing. Awesome. If you're coming For from sure. Ohio. Yeah. If you're coming from and somewhere else. Wherever. Might be out of your way. <laughs> yeah, but try and avoid the roads in Michigan. <laughs> and try to also make the most of every day that you have. Because you only live once. Absolutely. See you All next right. time, Happy guys. Happy camping. Bye. Bye. Bye.